you. What? All right. Um. So, uh, we got another one from South Park. Hmm. Okay. South Park. Yeah. We got. It's another best moments from Kyle and Stan. All right. Two funny ass characters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. All right, man. You ready? Yes. Hey, bros, what's going on? This is Cotton Eye Bot. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because subscribing makes you feel good. This is bullcrap. A guest speaker comes to our class and assigns us a report on Thanksgiving? Well, it is kind of true, you know. Thanksgiving is fun and all, but the Native Americans got pretty screwed over. Yeah, now my video game time is getting screwed over by them. <laughs> hey, fat ass. Instead of laying in bed eating, why don't you come and help? Jesus, Kyle, you're really being grumpy today. We all have to do this report Oops. together, dude. You guys, we are wasting time. If we have to write a report on Thanksgiving, let's just go downstairs and watch TV. How is that gonna help? <laughs> Dumbass, it's November. The History Channel is probably playing Thanksgiving specials back to back. We can learn everything we need. Nice bolo ties, Dan. Thanks. Bolo ties are really in right now. It's cool you have one. <laughs> Look, it was a gift from my grandpa, okay? And it cost a lot of money. No, dude, it's badass. It happens to be worth $6,000. That was six grand? No yeah, dude. It's a recreation of the bolo tie worn by King Henry V. Dude, it's fucking gay as fuck. <laughs> I know. I really wish if my grandpa wanted to give me something, he'd just give me the money. Why don't you take it to one of those pawn places? Every two blocks you see a guy with a sign that says cash for gold and jewelry. There must be a lot of people doing it. <laughs> <laughs> no way. What's up? They've got a video of Pete Melman's mom showing up with fresh underwear on eavesdropper. Dude, that's <laughs> fucked up. Come on, dude, oh it's pretty God. funny. It's funny that something which should be completely private is put up on a website for everyone to see? Yeah, dude, that's pretty funny. It's mega <laughs> duper hilarious. <laughs> Sir, we are really worried about our friend Clyde. Everywhere he goes, people are telling him he has blood on his wiener. Uh-huh, go on. We keep what? trying to tell him maybe this all isn't his fault. Maybe the people who made the toilet are to blame for what happened. So we were just wondering if we could sue somebody. You can always sue somebody. All right! You see, Clyde? Okay, we want to help him sue whoever invented the toilet. You got it! What? How'd he get blood on his wiener? Here we go. Inventor of the toilet. Sir John Harrington. <laughs> Kelston, England, died 1692. Damn. <laughs> the toilet is old. <laughs> you boys have been very busy. <laughs> We need to know everything that you know. About what? Have you been contacted by alien life forms? Did you come across some kind of ship or something? Dude, look, we, we just saw all this stuff on History Channel. Oh my we God. are the History Channel. <laughs> uh, ancient aliens. You didn't steal this, did you? No, my grandpa gave it to me as a present. But it's worth so much, I feel really bad accepting it, so I just want the cash. It's 14 karat gold, diamond, and turquoise. I'll give you $15. <laughs> what? That cost my grandpa $6,000. Those are real diamonds on the outside. Yeah, I can't really make anything on the diamonds. I'd have to send it to a smelter, have it all smelted down for the gold. Probably could make a $10 profit. 15 bucks? Dude, this guy's trying to rook us. We can go someplace else. Yeah, I'm not getting taken advantage of. You may suck our collective bounds here. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, check it out. Eavesdropper found an email from Jenny Simon's boyfriend calling her soft serve Simons. That's not funny. Hey, here's a post about Token. Token blocks private gem photos. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> looking at that. Come on, dude, it's pretty funny. It wouldn't be funny if that website posted something about you. I wouldn't care. Yeah. Exclusive. Stan Marsh thinks Elise Thompson has a hot butt crack. What? <laughs> in an email sent yesterday to Kenny McCormick, Stan Marsh wrote, Dude, you should have been in PE today. Elise Thompson's butt crack was totally showing. He went on to call her butt crack, quote, nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see? So then we can't sue him? Why not? You can always uh, sue somebody. Serious. It's just going to take some special protocol. <clears throat> we would have to perform a suance. I'm going to bring John, what you call it, back to the... You bet. Here at Hoffman and Turk, we specialize in suing the dead. If you hire us, we'll work hard for you. Wow, really? You hear that, Clyde? For years, we've been collecting information on Thanksgiving. We're getting close to the truth. And now you boys have the exact same information. It can't be coincidence. We saw it on your channel. 
What exactly did you see? They're from the but history stuffing channel. Stuffing was never heard of before 1621, so it might be alien technology? My god. Would you be willing to say that on camera for an interview? <laughs> Don't worry. There's gotta be another cash for gold place around here somewhere. Yeah, here's one. <laughs> There's a lot These of These are real stores. diamonds, right? Yeah, dude, you can test them. Okay. Eight dollars. <laughs> Yep. This is the same bolo tie worn by King Henry V. Nine dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Taco Bell. Would you like to try our Doritos Locos uh, Tacos? I want to see how much you'll give me for this golden turquoise diamond bolo. And that the whole experience was, quote, <laughs> You gotta go to a jewelry awesome. shop or something. Kenny! Kenny, what I'm the fuck? <laughs> how did Eavesdropper get a hold of my email to you? I don't know. Do you just leave your emails open for everyone to read? No. That was a private email from me to you. <laughs> hey, Wendy. You like looking at girls by crack stand? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was telling Kenny he would like it. Do you have any idea how embarrassed I am? Wendy, it was just a quick email to Kenny. New stories pop up on Eavesdropper every hour. People are going to forget all about this. So you didn't email anybody else uh. about Elise Thompson's butt crack, right? <laughs> now look. Uh, I'll be asking yeah. all of you to have a very open mind and a willingness to face your fears. I warn you, boys. A suance can be very expensive. How expensive? How much do you have? Clyde got $3,000 from his mom's life insurance. Whoa. That's exactly how much a suance costs. <laughs> Pilgrims were actually aliens themselves? Of course you can't prove there were no aliens at the first Thanksgiving. Just like you can't prove that the Pilgrims themselves weren't aliens. Can you prove that? Here, draw that Thanksgiving turkey symbol with your hand. Maybe that symbol matches galaxies in space or something. Ooh! 14 karat gold, catch you $14 a gram on the open market. Got about a Taco Bell. Gram here. It's not really worth my time. I guess I can give you a six-layer burrito for it. <laughs> a six-layer burrito? You guys don't even make a six-layer burrito. <laughs> All right, a seven-layer burrito. But that's as high as I'm going. Dude, my grandpa paid $6,000 for something barely worth anything. How? How does something like this happen? Could it be that the pilgrims we've read about all these years actually came from another planet? History experts like Kyle Bravlasky say, yes! You might as well just say pilgrims and Indians were all aliens who came here and made some kind of intergalactic treaty. Well, check it out, dude. We're at TV. <laughs> That's not this a This is an issue of trust and privacy. We have to all work together to put an end to eavesdropper once and for all. Yes, Kyle. So, just to be completely clear, now it isn't funny, right? <laughs> What's funny about having our private lives hacked into? <laughs> Especially when they're writing about your boyfriend's addiction to crap. <laughs> Shut up, Butters! What we have to do is find out who in the school is running eavesdropper. I've done an extensive profile, and I've narrowed it down to somebody in this very room. Oh, shit. All right, boys, sit down and clear your minds. Oh, my God. Suance is about to begin. Doors and windows are locked. You boys have your 500 in cash ready? Yeah. All right, and I've got this big bull set here to catch all the money we're about to make. Now, <laughs> let us start. We call out to the land of the dead. Sir John Harrington, your presence is requested. Appear to us, John Harrington. We have a subpoena. Gee, it's not working. Ouch! Dude, that's terrible! I told you guys, I've been watching all day. But how do they get away with that? This is a new time, a new era of science that only the smartest can comprehend. What are you talking about? For centuries, alchemists have tried to come up with the formula to make gold. Whoever could do it would, of course, become rich. And now, the chemical equation is right before our eyes. What are you doing? Uh-oh. The first Thanksgiving was a space treaty? Native Americans are aliens? I was just explaining how a negative argument doesn't make a positive... Haven't my people been through enough? God damn you! Ah, dude! <laughs> this white man is gonna pay for his lives! <laughs> right, you are, in the you're a gossiping little bitch. Oh, and we're not gonna... It's not somebody in this room. What? How do you know? Because whoever it is just now posted a news story on Eavesdropper. <laughs> Alice yeah. Taft reveals embarrassing secret about Craig Tucker. <laughs> yeah. Hey, wait, that's me. Where's it coming from? <laughs> huh? If it's on the school network, we can track the IP address. This uh, way. Uh, in here. Be carbon. Whoever it is is using the computer in the music room. That's the chemical equation.
persuasion for gold? That's right. Guys with Cash for Gold signs gets you people's unwanted crappy jewelry, which when added to a cable-based shopping network divided by demented old people equals go. Kenny, will you tell Cartman to shut up? <laughs> John Harrington! Yeah. My client is due compensation yes. for negligence. What is your name, spirit? Bonds. Jimmy Bonds, what's it to you? Who are you, mugs? That's how people talked in the past. <laughs> we have a claim against a John Harrington. Do you know him, spirit? Well, maybe I do and maybe I don't. Might need a little something something to jar my memory. We gotta grease him. Put a hundred in the box. <laughs> Damn. And furthermore, wow. everything Kyle Broblowski said fuck? about Native Americans being from outer space was untrue. Uh, Native Americans were brutalized, yeah, and David Sawitzki's ancestors deserve an apology. It was wrong to mix aliens and real history. I don't know, dude. Have you seen that stuff about the pyramids and the link to Mars? Dude, I have that gun here. I'm just saying there's lots of symbols and signs out there that show aliens and history are pretty linked. <laughs> Will you guys stop? No just keep writing your apology. To your kids, your grandkids, show them your life had meaning. Grandpa. Do you see that, Billy? That's an emerald on 14 karat gold. Don't you think your sister would like that? She doesn't like jewelry, Grandpa. Ha! <laughs> well, she will one day. She'll appreciate it. She's, she's just a baby, after all. She's not a baby, Grandpa. She's 13. <laughs> Johnny's 13? Right. Right, boy. We only have music class on Thursdays. Of course. A kid could use the computer in there and nobody would know. Get ready, guys. Whoever's in here is the kid that's hacking our emails and phone calls. You guys ready? Oh, I'm ready. One. No, it is. Two. Three. What the? It's a rat! Oh yeah, Harrington, I know him. Always going around <laughs> inventing things. Yes, that's him. Is his personage amongst you? Well, maybe it is and maybe it isn't. Give him another hundred. Yeah, I've seen him around, all right. He was just down that way, bragging about some porcelain machine and what have you. No! No! By the power of Christ we sue you! By the power of Christ we sue you! You can't sue me! Ah. Quick, put the other 300 in the box! Ah. Ah. <sighs> I've been told of your expertise, Kyle of DeVry Institute. I need your wisdom to get back to my planet. Into the wheeled chariot that strucketh me! We must make haste to Cape Cod! Is it Alien yeah. Pilgrim? This is Natalie. Hi, guys. <laughs> Billy, did I ever tell you I used to have a border collie named Patches? Yes, Grandpa. I love that dog. She always made me so happy. When she died, I, I didn't let myself get too sad because I thought, thought I'd always have the memory of her slobbering happy face. I can't remember what she looked like, Billy. Huh. Huh. Don't worry, Grandpa. I'm gonna take care of this. <laughs> uh, hey, dude, are you the guy messing moment. with Cartman's stuffed animals? Maybe we are, and maybe we aren't. You got any proof? Well, it's just you and your friends were the ones saying Cartman needs to suffer. That doesn't prove anything. That fat little fuck is finally getting what's coming to him. Yeah, but dude, he seriously could have died in that fire. He's in your class, but you don't deal with him. So we are gonna remedy the situation. We've got big plans. Just stay out of our way and let the men handle this. The men. <laughs> Is that an alien pilgrim? Is he from outer space? <laughs> I fear, Kyle, that you still do not know whose side to be on. No, I don't. It must have been very difficult for you, being the one on your planet with his wild theories that pilgrims and Indians were not of this world. I actually only just said that sarcastically. <laughs> then you are only just a remarkably gifted child. This one. Hello, sir, you must be a fan of Panzo to Panzanite. Yeah, hi. Um, you should kill yourself. 
that? I said you should kill yourself. What you do is totally unjustifiable. And you know it's unjustifiable. And you don't care. You're the definition of evil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna sell this ring for just thirty-seven ninety-five. How's that? <laughs> Damn. I just read that the day shopping networks make most of their money is on the day seniors pick up social security checks. Wow. Dude, we are on the front page. Yes. <laughs> Damn. Can we get the different Makes post, please? Sense. What's it say? What's it say? It say. Uh, oh no. It says Faith Hilling is now all like two thousand and late. What? Let me see that. Here, let me show you. Your planet is one of the five. Plymouth, Indy, Kotenheim, and this planet over here nobody really cares about. The five are connected <laughs> by a series of wormholes. My people came to your world, and so did our enemies. But we made a treaty, and for 300 years our people have not fought. But now, the treaty is over. But I always read that Native Americans were here, and the pilgrims and other settlers kind of took their lands from them. You can't believe what everyone tells you, Kyle. You have to open your eyes. Kill yourself. All right, well, you shouldn't say things like that, because some host of a jewelry channel sure might up and do it, and then you'd feel really bad. No, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. No, because I really want you to kill yourself. All right, well, how about this? If a jewelry network host goes home tonight and blows his brains out, you might be liable. That's a lawsuit worth... <laughs> Two point seven million dollars. How's that sound? I don't care what happens to me. I care about my grandfather. You morally empty, corrupted maggot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How can that be? Already? Public reaction was that the stunt pulled off by five elementary school students was not only dangerous and disruptive, but also completely passe. How can we be passe? We're only in fourth grade. Faith Hilling is pretty stale, said Republican candidate Newt Gingrich. If they had crashed the debate by Taylor Swifting, that would have been impressive. Taylor Swifting? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Has to be a way to get the portal open. Where's our expert? What do we do, Professor Broflowski? I'm not a professor. The History Channel said you were! You are the fucking History Channel! <laughs> Please, Kyle of the Bry Institute. There is no more time for squabble. The universe is at stake. You knew everything else. You somehow knew about all of this. You knew it here. You must know how to get Natalie Portman to open her wormhole. <laughs> what? All right, I tell you what. I'll bring the lawsuit down to twenty-nine thirty-nine. It doesn't matter what price you put on anything. Your only chance to right the wrongs you've done and repay all the elderly people whose lives you've destroyed is to kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, you think it's funny, but that's that's calling up and telling someone to kill themselves. That's not a joke. I'm not joking. Do it. He's gonna do it, yeah. <laughs> uh, what the hell? Oh, Long Johnson. Oh, Long Johnson. That's gotta hurt. Yeah, that's good. Now go back the other way. What is he doing? Long Johnson. Oh, Long... <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Oh, hey guys, how's it going? We thought you were meeting us at Cartman's. What are you doing here? Taylor Swifting. He's not Taylor Swifting. <laughs> He's stuff. Yeah, now you do it while seeing how many times you can say Olong Johnson. I thought I'd just, you know, try it out. <laughs> so. Oh my God. You have any brothers or sisters, Natalie? I had a lot of really close friends growing up, but not any brothers or sisters. I was an only child. Wow, awesome. Um. I have dual citizenship, United States and Israel. <laughs> oh, thanks. Um, so, so dual citizenship, wow. I, you know that I, I never knew anyone that had that. Well, I went to Harvard while I was acting. I got a BA, but I did classes at University of Jerusalem too. Cool, cool. Do you have any idea what it would feel like to start losing your memories? No, because you don't have someone in your life suffering from Alzheimer's. Well, I do. Look, kid. If you got a beef with the system, you're talking to the wrong people. All we do is smelter down what we get from the cash for gold places. Yeah? Well, there's an old Hindu saying. Whoever smelt it, dealt it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we aren't the ones who deny you what your jewelry was really worth. The Hindu saying is actually, Mai nahi chahatapani. What does that mean? 
Whoever denied it, supplied it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Man. Remember when we heard about that Polak with one testicle in the Revolutionary yeah. War? What was his name? Benedict Arnold. Oh, come on. You guys need to realize that faith healing is over, okay? You can pretend all you want, but it's not coming back. Kenny? If you guys want to keep faith healing, I'm sure people are still doing it at the old folks' home. You'll like this, Kenny. Here, pull down your pants. <laughs> what is that? That's Taylor you Swift. You guys are sellouts. Come on, Cal. You're freaking sellouts. Okay, man, come on. <laughs> you want to order some dessert? Thanks, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was cool, thanks. Um, so, is there any way you'd... What? You know, could you... What? Would you please just open your wormhole? What? Oh. Hmm. No. <sighs> Mm. <laughs> okay. Where's the yes! promo? You are the scums of the earth. <laughs> Old people are victimized by shopping networks, and you kick back in your fat cat mansions making billions. <laughs> we aren't making that much, fellas. Not. Why don't you yell at the people who melt the gold down? The old Hindu saying is whoever smelt it, dealt it. Mm. Yeah! yeah no, 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 no. That's where you got that from. It's whoever denied it supplied it. You got it all wrong. All right, all right. Knock it off. Stop spreading lies. I'm trying to protect people. And why are you so quick to try and cover up Jupacabra's existence? I looked on the known species webpage. Jupacabra. There's no Where animal called from? a Jupacabra mentioned anywhere. Well, neither is Bigfoot, Cal, but there are a lot of people who say they've spotted a Sasquatch. If someone says they saw a Sasquatch, they are either lying or they are stupid. Now stop <laughs> lying about a Jupacabra before stupid people start believing you. Thank you, Cal of the Rye Institute. Now the Indians can be stopped and Thanksgiving will be saved. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm sorry I doubted you. And guys, I'm, I'm sorry I acted like a know-it-all. It's cool, dude. We understand. Is she I guess opening her we all realize that history and alien technology really do go hand in hand. Now make way, children, for I have a war to fight. You should be ashamed of the people in America that you are exploiting. How dare you take advantage of those less fortunate? You dirty, double-crossing asshole! You trying to cut me out, huh? You guys stole my formula and tried to fuck me, butter. Sorry. <laughs> and they tried to fuck me out of your business. <laughs> We're not fucking you. They're fucking Stan's grandpa. No, they're getting fucked by Asian lady. Uh. Somebody is at the head of all this, and somebody needs to pay. <laughs> all I want is some goddamn retribution for my goddamn grandpa. <laughs> no, not a diamond and gold necklace. <laughs> Better take that. Oh man. You see what it shows his dad bought it off of. Yeah. <laughs> That's true though. They be stealing their money, them old people money. <laughs> they don't know what they buying. In the game, you can wear it. Dumb as gold and diamond. <laughs> Turquoise are offering fourteen dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they say. The, um, he said Stan. that. Uh, I think Stan said that. The home shopping network makes most of its money on the days people get their retirement checks and shit. <laughs> Social security exactly. and shit. Yeah. I can see that, man. <laughs> I wonder why you get old and you start doing that. That's a lot of shit. Me doesn't like shopping. Yeah, right, exactly. Right. I guess you got the internet now. It's like right, people shopping right. on the internet. But I guess back in the day, you right. maybe didn't have the internet. People used to, old people used to be on TV watching those infomercials and shit. Yeah. Late at night or early in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I've ever bought anything. I, I know I've bought some things I've seen on uh, on that, like in a store, in those late night infomercials. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But I've never really actually called and been like, mm -hmm. no, nah, I've never ordered mm -hmm. anything. Yeah, man, let me get that two for one special you got. $24.99. <laughs> yeah. Right now, price buy that. Let me get that. And, uh, yeah. What they selling is probably four times less than what it's worth, <laughs> <laughs> to be real. You know what I'm saying? You gotta pay thirty dollars for shipping and handling and all this other shit. It's like it's right, I'm trying to sign you up for a member too. Yeah. yeah. You got Amazon now. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, man. Then the uh what you call it, you know, you don't wanna you know, it's always it's fun to laugh at rumors. <laughs> but when the when the rumors about you <laughs> it's not as funny. <laughs> oh man. 
Yeah, that yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> this thing, uh, <laughs> there you go, girlfriend. Uh, yeah, so so I guess that's how it started, right? Yeah. <laughs> my boyfriend's addicted to butt crack. No, my boyfriend's addicted to crack. <laughs> ah. Uh, Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Kyle and Stan. 